Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Fringe Mania. We have finally made it, Angus. We're at show number four. We're at Super Clash number six. Super Clash six. I cannot wait for this one. And what a way to kick it off. A six-man scramble for the EPW Coastal Championship. Yeah, a title that Matt Hayter won at the A Australian Wrestling Super Show. This guy is no stranger to winning big matches at the Fringe. Last year's King of the Fringe winner, Red Shaw. Accompanied, of course, by his hype man, AMT. Looking to rebound after that upset loss to Bob a couple weeks ago, Paul Roberts. Absolutely. But, uh, AMT, wow, he's looking pumped tonight. He just... <laughs> he's had his four coffees, his energy drinks. He is ready <laughs> to go. He, he is pumped. Another big opportunity for this young man. Almost got the job done in the key to the city a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, one third of Ford Enterprises. Paul Roberts, how close did Kaito come to becoming our key to the city holder? Oh, well, absolutely. He just about had his fingers on the key, but uh, Grimm had other ideas at the top of the ladder. Of course, we've seen him choke slam him onto everyone down below. And then, of course, our key to the city holder is Grimm, who we'll be seeing in action tonight as well. Yeah, against Caveman on coming up later tonight. Wow, what a huge event. The Fringe Mania, it just all happens at Fringe. Yeah, we are, we are at, the, at the pointy end now of Fringe Mania. This is the last opportunity for all of our wrestlers to get a big impact victory. And yes. so, someone who I think has a great opportunity, also in the key to the seat ladder match, is the fantastic Aaron Only about to make his way out. Well, big opportunity for these guys. And of course, this could change the landscape of explosive pro wrestling in WA because they've got an event coming up soon where the Coastal Championship is up for grabs. Yeah, former Coastal Champion Bruno Nitro has got to be watching this one very closely because he, he's scheduled to challenge Matt Hayter for the championship in a couple weeks' time at Collision Course, like you mentioned. 
but we could have a totally different champion at the end of this one, Paul. Well, it's time to see if uh, Aaron Onley's got any tricks up his sleeves here tonight and uh, see if he can pull one out of the hat and become the EPW Coastal Champion. Yeah, but not if this man, this honourable man has anything to say about it, Paul. Well, he's an honourable, uh, you know, fighting, used to be champion once upon <laughs> a time. Maybe he wants to change that here tonight. He's got a great opportunity right now. Kaito, what is he doing? And you may have noticed Katie Trey just shaking that finger because last night, of course, he squared off against Amber yes. and she took quite the bite out of Katie Trey. Biting that finger of his, who knows what bacteria, what infection Katie Trey could have after that. Well, here we come. Mike Boomer not uh, afraid to become champion in another company. This guy's held titles all over Australia. Absolutely. And has the experience edge in this one. And of course, let's not forget his history with Matt Hayter. Like quite the uh, well, rivalry for the Riot City Wrestling Championship. Speaking of, you see Matt Hayter go straight to Mike Boomer. Yeah, this one hasn't officially begun what, yet. What, what's the, what's the, the go here between Kai Toa and Katie Trey? Yeah, not sure about that, but this match has begun. Now, folks, it's going to be really hard for us to keep up with the whole this going on inside the ring. Yeah, chaos is definitely uh, guaranteed in this encounter. Oh, Matt Hayter. Matt Hayter, what is going on here? Everyone's getting ready to set up for something big by the looks of it. Mike Kruber coming in. What are we seeing here, Paul? Well... Could be a triple suplex! Oh, huge! Over goes Onley, Kaitoa, and Trey. Watch out, Matt Hayter! Here comes Mike Boomer, catches Redshaw! Wow, that's really going to hurt the jaw there. The jaw of Redshaw. And yeah, we were talking before the rivalry that these two had. Matt Hayter, Mike Boomer for the RCW Championship. Quite a legendary feud only a few years ago. Picking things right back up where they left them. Meanwhile, Aaron Only, impressive Aaron Only, the fantastic Aaron Only, dialing it up, here we go! Kenny hit a... 619! Oh, hold on, hold on, watch Aaron Only, watch Kaitoa, K&M! Oh, hide around of the way. Hey Paul, he calls out the K&M because Kaitoa never misses, neither does Redshaw. And Katie Trace sleeper slam, it is pandemonium here! In comes Boomer now. Gets caught by Trey. Big Uranagi there by Katie Trey. Ah, just dumped Boomer like last week's garbage. Well, Katie Trey's got to have uh, revenge on his brain. Hold on. Oh, hang it. on. Is that Amber? That's Can Amber. She, was she hiding under the ring? She was under the ring, I think. Well, she's here from last night. And look, she's dragging Katie Trey down to hell. Where did Katie Trey go? Is hey, it, but, I, hang on. Was, has she been here all night? Is she under the ring? I didn't see a leave, Paul. I didn't see a leave. No. Wow. Well, this is down to a five-way scramble now, I think. Yeah, well, we've we've lost Katie Trey. <laughs> hey, that's a, a huge advantage now for the other five in the match. As, as such, one eliminated, but uh, it, it's not an elimination match. Yeah, not, not really. Not technically. Hold on. Aaron only now stacked up. Uh-oh. Hang on a second. Watch Kaitoa. Oh my god, Olivia Newton bomb. And Matt Hayter has something on his mind too. We saw him take to the skies last night. Moonsault press. And Puma. Oh. A page out of his partner's book, Mayari, a la Mickey Fortune. Not quite enough though. Wow, that was so close. Uh, 
Haters Championship was nearly uh, in the grass with Mike Boomer. Yeah, and if you were in uh, Bruno Nitro's position, who would you like to see win this? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Teddy Trey is back. He is covered hey. in black paint. Whoa. He's missing, a, he's missing a shoe. Uh, what a, oh, my God. He is missing I was going to say, what, a, what did Amber do to him? And Teddy Trey is scampering out of here yeah. like a scalded dog. And, and Amber's chasing him. What is going on there? What is the nature of that relationship? If you want to call it relationship, I, I guess so, but I don't think uh, Katie Trey would see it as that. Very one-sided right now. <laughs> also one-sided. Redshaw's taking control. Oh, Mike Boomer making his way back in. Yeah, the weapon would love to add the EPW Coastal title to his accolades, his list of championships. Oh, the miss! More missing! But Redshaw able to get that lariat. Wow. Hey, hang on. Here comes AMT. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, what is going on here? Deadweight power slam to AMT. I think Redshaw thought that was Boomer. Oh, I think AMT, he's got the towel. He was going to go clean the eyes. Yeah, meanwhile, super kick from Hater. Two, three. Three. Oh, ring the bell. Matt Hader seals the deal and he books himself a ticket to EPW Collision Course in the process by retaining the EPW Coastal Championship ball. Yeah, big six women scramble here to kick off things at uh, Super Clash. And how, how Matt Hader put a performance together like that coming just 24 hours after that hellacious Balls Count Anywhere match for well, unbelievable scenes. Yeah, absolutely. Like, we, we were only here mere hours ago, Angus, <laughs> and we're back again doing our final show, Super Clash, at the Fringe, of course. Always a big event, Super always Clash. A big, always a big event. Absolutely huge, but let's head back to Andy. Here we go, the title is on the line. Now this is a huge opportunity for Party Power. Here come the challengers. They've been nipping at the feet of the old guard for a few months now. Of course they won the number one contendership against Thorn Enterprises. Here we go, Party Power Banjo and is that Violet, Violet Blitz? Violet Blitz? I assume uh, Party Guy Ty not quite clear yet. Uh, yeah, obviously, a, a, an issue still with the, the health of Party Guy Ty. But he would be looking on at this one because even if that's right, he's not here. The, the all, rules, the all for one rule, is in effect. If Violet Blitz and Banjo Powers get the job done, Party Guy Ty will be recognised as a tag team champion. And that is the power and the unpredictability of the all for one rule. Well, it's time to party here at the uh, Adelaide Fringe at Super Clash. But can they get the job done? Because what a job they've got. Oh yeah, what a task ahead of them. And they've got a angry old guy after last night's event. Well, especially uh, after uh, Dean Brady not holding that Emerald Crown any longer. Yeah, losing his status as double champion and he does not look happy. I mean, these guys never look happy, but he looks particularly peeved off today. Same with Cutthroat. Yeah, no Ben Rosenthal, no Chris Basso. They are preparing for the huge oh. main event. They got, they got Dean Brady's sister Delta in the RCW Grand Championship coming up. Well, uh, Dean Brady uh, likes to remind us that he's a four-time tag team champion. Yeah, but he can't remind us about the fact that he's a double champion any longer. Vincent Di Maria picking up that big Vinny. win. He's the new Emerald Crown holder after last night. My boy Vinny's got the belt. Or should I say this morning, the early hours of this morning. <laughs> <laughs> the early hours of this morning. And uh, Cutthroat, of course, looking to retain that tag team championship, making the old guard proud. 
So much at stake in oh, this one. Imagine, just imagine Team Brady. Uh, oh, this one quickly underway. Yeah, hot start, hot start for this tag match. But imagine Team Brady loses this match for them and they lose the tag team title. That was always an opportunity, always something that could happen. Team Brady could always have left the fringe with zero titles. And that might happen to a suicida. And what is Violet Blitz doing? Oh, she's heading right to the top. Right to the top of the Peacock tent. Watch out for Violet Blitz. High crossbody. And down to the outside. Uh, referee going to check. We can see Party Powers spring to their feet. Yeah, the fellas not wrong yet. This is not actually an official championship match yet. Gotta get Dean Brady back there. Oh, now Banjo says, quick, ring the bell. All right, here we go. Quick cover. Not quite. Quick opportunity there by uh, Banj, but not uh, not enough, so he's going to tag in Violet Blitz now. It's going to be an interesting uh, matchup with Violet Blitz and Dean Brady. Yeah, very intriguing match here. Violet Blitz coming off the rope. Oh, gets caught by Dean Brady, but no! Oh, Kills a well. TDT, Paul Roberts. Dropped him on his head. Wow, that was close. Oh, look out, though. Oh, here comes Cutthroat, the difference maker. Just about took her head off. The hand-picked rookie of the Old Guard, picked from the RCW Academy to be an Old Guard member. Almost like they built this guy in a lab. Built from the ground up just to be a fighting machine. It's like one of those create-your-own-wrestlers in yeah, the game. Pretty much. Ben Rosenthal's perfect wrestler, but hold on, Hurricane Rana! Oh! Cutthroat's out of here. I don't think Cutthroat attacked Dean Brady, I think he's still the legal yeah, man. Yeah, I think Dean Brady's still legal. Cutthroat is uh, right near our... Uh, yeah, I, I don't know what he's trying to tell us. Announce desk. Stumbling around. Oh, is that a GTS there by uh, Banjo? Watch this! Oh, can she do it? The Canadian Destroyer. She won the other night like that. That is becoming a staple of Violet Blitz. Oh, come on. Oh, no! That's a, oh. that's a disqualification yet again. Another, another disqualification by the old guard. Very disappointing. High powers win by DQ. Titles don't change hands on disqualifications. Well, we, we, I, we knew that was coming. Yeah, look at this. I mean, that, that, that is what Cutthroat was doing, was saving their tag team titles. They don't care about the victory here. They're not worried about party powers. But uh, obviously, the victory will go to Party Power. They have the win in the column. Does give them a good opportunity to have a rematch. Yeah, I, I would say that number one contendership status of Party Power, that has to still be in play, right, Paul? Absolutely. If, like if I'm making the matches here, if I'm RCW management, I'm still considering these guys for the next opportunity at the titles. See, that's where we need a good general manager running around. We'd be making that rematch right now. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Party Power versus the old guard. Well, very upsetting scenes here. I would have loved to see this one go a bit longer. Yes. Well, there's the official announcement. The Party Power are the winners, but by the Q. Are we surprised? Are we really surprised? The old guard, they've been pulling this crap event after event after event. I don't think a single tag match with those two guys has gone to a finish because they keep getting themselves disqualified, Paul. Well, I'm sure the instructions from the old guard were what doesn't matter what it takes, keep those yeah. tag team titles. We need to take those tag team titles home at the end of the fringe. Well, so. they, they lost the Emerald Crown last night, but they could be adding the Grand Championship well. tonight. But let's go back to Andy Anderson. wrestlers in this country, one of the top prospects, it's Caveman Ugg! Absolutely, Caveman Ugg is here! If you guys have never seen Caveman Ugg, you are in for a treat. Oh, absolutely. You were saying, Will Travel, I was only talking to the Caveman before the show, talking about uh, the big uh, trip over to Perth just recently. Yeah. 
Yeah, he was involved in that big uh, Team WA versus Team Victoria main event, the Australian Wrestling Super Show. The same event that Matt Hayter, of course, won the uh, Coastal title, representing Team Victoria. But this guy, he's been a champion everywhere he goes. PWA, MCW, Huey Pro, and of course, the current Renegades of Wrestling heavyweight champion. Yeah, absolutely. But here comes the man. That's right, the key to the city holder for Yes. When will he unlock that key? Could it be tonight? It's time to raise your horn. And look at the horn in his left hand. That is massive. What a call to arms. Wow, what a ovation, what a reception for the first ever Riot City Wrestling Champion and the two-time and current oh. Key to the City holder. He's heading to the crowd. He's in the stands. He is a man of the people, is Grim. What a fan favor here at Riot City Wrestling. And of course I mentioned this is a interstate rivalry here. South Australia versus Victoria. Of course, Caveman Ark, you know, as I said, he's from, got a lot of championships and a lot of a lot of states across Australia. This is going to be an absolute cracker. It will be. And what a fringe season Grimm is having. Oh, absolutely. Probably one of the highlights of fringe has been Grimm. Unfortunately, didn't take away that title, but what a match he had with Delta. Oh, what a match. Match of the year. People have been, podcasters have been saying it. Critics have been saying one of the best matches in Australian wrestling all year. And we're only in March. <laughs> Gotta set the standard high early. <laughs> this is Riot City Wrestling. We are the standard bearers. Well, here we go. This one. Wow. Don't everyone get behind Ugg. Yeah, I know, right? Who can, you can't blame him because Ugg... What a character. This guy is, is, a, is a strong man, but he's not afraid to leave his feet when the situation requires it. Very versatile athlete is Caveman Ugg. Oh, definitely one of the uh, premiers in this uh, country. And we are so lucky to have Ugg grace our presence here in Riot City. And to take on Grimm. And to take on Grimm. I mean, this is a dream match, Paul Roberts. Absolutely. I'm on the edge of my seat. And I can't believe we get to see this here at Riot City Wrestling at the Fringe. And if you guys couldn't make it, you're watching us on YouTube. Yeah. You guys have to, you can watch it again and again. The best seat in the house. But if you are in the Adelaide area, come to next year's Fringe. Oh. I'm sure we'll be represented here again. Yes, absolutely. We're, we're a Fringe staple now. This is our fifth year in a row. More and more shows added each year. Oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope not too many more. <laughs> Here we go, Matt Grimm, Basso. He's got Ugg right where he wants him, but he's going to let Ugg go. Oh, hold on. Oh. Ugg is starting some dominance here. Two big men clashing right in the middle of the RCW ring here at the Peacock 10. Reminds me of uh, just two gladiators, two titans. And look at the physique on Grimm. This guy is a near seven footer and has an absolute jacked physique. Oh, oh, wow. No one goes down, though. What a clash. And again. Again, no one goes down, Paul. The irresistible force meets the immovable object. Which one is which? <laughs> oh, I thought oh. I might be looking for a pounce there, maybe. Oh. oh. And look, both went for a cross body. I think Ugg slightly got the advantage over that. Yeah. I don't know by too much, but I think Ugg slightly with the advantage. He just has a little bit more experience leaving his feet, I think, than Grimm. You know, it's a rare sight when Grimm uh, leaves oh, his feet. Absolutely. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> well, these two guys aren't uh, junior heavyweights. <laughs> They're not cruiserweights. They we're, are we're talking about big guys. Super heavyweights. Oh, wow. Just lighten up the chest of Grimm. And I don't know whether he wants to get in the chopping contest. I don't know. I, I don't know. Ugg's chops aren't to be taken lightly. 
Either of Grim. So watch this, watch the agility here of Caveman Ark. Monkey flipping Grim halfway across the ring. Wow, sends Grim across. Oh, ducks the Lariat. Oh, just a back body drop there. I don't think Ark had uh, seen that one coming. Well, there's a chop from Grim. And it is, it is a hot day here. Adelaide. You can see the sweat already starting to form, the droplets form on these two men. And these two guys aren't cardio machines, they are strong, big, heavy hitters. As we said, the super heavyweights going at it right now. And as I said, uh, Kate Man doesn't want, to, uh, doesn't want to get to stuck in a chopping contest with Grim. Oh, no, no. You do not want to do that. You want to stick and move with your caveman arc because Grim, like he's doing now, he will smother you. And the fans here joining Grim, oh. but Arg catches him. And just planting Grim back on the top rope. Hold on. Oh, wow. You put that chop up there with anything Matt Grim back the <laughs> That was so good. Oh, wow. He just destroyed the chest of Grim. I don't think I've ever seen that in all my years. And the fans are approving of Arg right now. Wow. He said Grimm was having a great fringe uh, season. I don't know right about now. I wouldn't ask him that question. Yeah, no, no, no. He's got to focus squarely on Caveman Ugg. He's just uh, toying with Grimm now, making lunch meat out of him. Oh, here we go. He's going to get the advantage here. Well, if Grimm suplexes Ugg onto the outside, the fans in the front row in the second row uh, better watch out. A lot of people better watch out. <laughs> They're going to get wiped out if Grimm makes the uh, suplex, but I think Ugg out of the way. Oh, yeah, hardest part of the ring there for Robert Hay. Oh, absolutely. Straight on that steel beam. He's uh, down to the outside now. Ugg's going to follow him out there. And we are we have a capacity crowd of about oh. 400. It is super, huge. Super no vacancy. Hard shot by Caveman Ugg. And I'm just looking. They're letting more people in as this show keeps going. Yeah, I think we've got, we've got them standing now. Standing with their backs to the wall. It is, there is no room in here. 400 people are watching Caveman Ugg take it to Matt Grimbasa right now. Grim's got a seat in the front row. I don't oh. think he likes what he's seeing. Oh, wow. yeah. <laughs> Ugg's, Ugg's taking the chair for him now. And now look, the two children there. They're aiding, aiding uh, Matt Grimbasa. Wow. Grim appreciating the help there. Hey, take it where you can get it, Paul. But they've got to get back in. The referee is counting. This yeah. could be a double we, count we, out. We, we don't want any count outs in this match. You don't have a dream match ending in a count out. And Grim breaks the count though. Keeps this one going. It gives Caveman on just a little bit of time to breathe there. It's going to be so hard for the guys now, as you said, obviously conditioning, things like that. It is hot in here, breathing in that yeah. hot air. Yeah, big time, Paul. These two guys, they are built for strength and finishing matches quickly. There is a 20 minute time limit on this one. We're going for about 10 minutes now. And the sweat is pooling on the brows of both these men. Hey, man, like that long hair, that big beard. He's got to be feeling all 31 degrees of the temperature in <laughs> It is indeed a hot one, but it oh, is. Oh, oh! The action is hot in the ring, and wow, Ugg's done it again. Like, Ugg is certainly, as you said, right up there with the uh, with Grimm and, and Chris Basso. Look at the sweat leaving the chest yeah. of these two, man, Paul. Oh! Oh, wow! Oh, my goodness! Who would have ever thought? We should be bottling that sweat and selling it at the merch stand. There's liquid gold right there. Oh, double oh. lariat. No one goes down. We're back to where we started. Stalemate in this one. Oh, oh double clothesline. Both men go down. I was going to say, Angus, we're getting to that point where the, these two guys, uh, I can't believe how back and forth they're still going. They're so well matched, Paul Roberts. Someone really just needs to hit that big move. They, that, that first person to get that real big move. 
could be the victor in oh, this match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both men need to think of something right now because they are on Dream Street. Oh, Grim using the energy of the fans here. Oh, oh Caveman Ugg nips up. Wow, wow. Forearm by Caveman Ugg. And again, now sending Grim off the ropes. Wow. Oh, catches him. Big stomp there with the bare foot of Caveman Ugg. And now looking for something oh. big. Splash Mountain Kubi in Grim's near future. Grim's got to watch out for wow. him. And he gets down, he slides down the back there, Paul. Spider Boot! Spider Boot! Wow, that could be it. That could be what we were waiting for. Oh! oh. Big kick out by Caveman Arc. This match continues. Well, I was wrong. I thought that, that the first person that pulls a move like that out might get the victory. But uh, wow. Caveman Arc able to kick out on two. We did not account for the resilience of Caveman Arc there. I mean, I don't know if you've seen it, Angus, when. Uh, when when Grimm was up on that crucifix, I, I don't think I've ever seen Grimm's expression yeah. like that. He's not used to being up there. Yeah, he was panicked. He was definitely panicked. Wait, wait, wait. What is Grimm thinking here? Again, oh. I, I said it's very rare, rare. that Grimm leaves his feet. We now only, he's heading over the turnbuckles. We only see it occasionally, but everything is on the line, Angus. you got to do what you got to do. Yeah, the intensity in this match is just ratcheted up here a little bit, Paul Roberts. Grimm's going to the top, hold on, diving, clothesline. Oh, nobody home. Wow, wow, Caveman on. So impressive there. Wow. That Thunder Larry is unbelievable. Oh no, Caveman on. this is his signature manoeuvre, Paul Roberts. Yeah, tour of the caves. Look at him carrying Grimm like a baby. Wow, tour of the caves. Caveman on could do it here, Paul. He's taking him for the tour. He goes for the cover. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mere millimeters away. Caveman Ugg almost put Grimm away there. Ugg is firing up. Yeah, what else does Ugg have? Maybe Splash Mountain again, Paul. Thinking about it. He's Can Grimm escape twice? I don't know. He's got him up there. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Hurricane Rana. Kip up! Have you ever seen Grim do that? Looking for the choke slam. Thunderous choke slam, Paul. The One, cover. Two, three. Wow! The, unbelievable. The key to the city holder does it. Well, there you go. What a great fringe it has been for Matt Grim Basso. Hey, look, he might not have captured the RCW Grand Championship, but he's become the key to the city holder, and he just defeated Caveman and Ugg. Ugg. Wow, unbelievable fringe mania, living up to everything we expect. What a great match. I, I'm actually going to look forward to re-watching that one, Angus, oh, yeah. because that was fantastic. Two big men in Australian wrestling, two superstars of Australian wrestling, going at it right here in the RCW ring for Super Clash oh. Fringe Mania. Paul Roberts, I am so glad I was here with you calling that one. That was an unbelievable contest. Oh, and, so uh, you know, Matt Grimbasso, he's got to refocus now because we've had a lot of change with the championships and the landscape. Now he can pick who does he want to go after. Yeah, like, he can still put his hat in the ring for the Emerald Crown. Has he got a partner? Does he want those tag team titles? Or does he want to try for that Grand Slam champion one oh, more wow. time? It could be. He could be the Grand Champion. He could still be the Grand Champion at the end of the night. He's got that key to the city. It is so he exciting. Lock him. He can unlock it any time, folks. It is so exciting. You do not want to miss a second of Ryan City Wrestling Act. Oh, especially when it comes to Fringe Mania. Grim successful here tonight over Caveman Arc. What an unbelievable match. Unreal, unreal, Paul Roberts. So let's go back to Andy Anderson. Is he in form? He is. This is schedule 4-1-4. Well, I'm going to teach you a very valuable lesson. What goes around comes around, Mr. Cliff. And that was just a taste of the Outback Legends vengeance. Down under, you've cost me opportunity, 
after opportunity. Well, I don't think Downer will be giving Mr. Cliff any oh. apples anytime soon. Hey, he's on yard duty, mate. He's cleaning up the trash. Down under, I'm going to teach you a lesson. You will never forget. Look into my eyes, Cliff. You've never known true fear till you stand across the ring from me. Why don't you meet me in a school yard rules match? Are you ready for this one? Well, they're bringing out uh, the wonder here, Paul Roberts. Looks like a lot of school supplies. Yeah, well, this is the schoolyard brawl. And the scariest thing is hearing that. I mean, I wouldn't want to hear that if I was in school. I wouldn't want to hear it any time. Especially if you missed the clip. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So this one all stems back to the Riot City Rumble when well. Mr. Cliff eliminated Savannah Summers. But it really has become much more than that and a real big game of one-upsmanship between these two, costing each other opportunities time and time again, getting in each other's business. And now we're going to see how this will all end with the schoolyard ball ball. Well, this is where it's all going to come to a head. And here comes his opponent. And it's a guard of honour here for Mr. Cliff. He's got the... The prefects here with him, it looks like. They're all there in their sweater vests. I was going to say, there's too many sweater vests here. What's going on? Yeah, the, the sweater vest in Forium uh, is out of uh, out of stock, I think, after seeing these guys come to it. <laughs> Look at these guys handing out detention slips today. Have the authority to do this. Are these guys teachers? Who are these guys? I, I, I don't know what they're doing. But... Are they part of the staff room that Mr. Cliff uh, sits in? The faculty, maybe? I guess you've got to have some pull when you're the vice principal. Yeah, absolutely. Now, uh, of course, anything goes in a schoolyard brawl. It's just a, a fancy way of saying a no disqualification match. Absolutely. And look, and, uh... look, they've got the times table. They've got the periodic table. And uh, about a million uh, rulers. And the school bell rings, Paul Roberts. The school bell has rung. This one officially underway. Class is in session. And uh, I, don't, I don't know whether Mr. Cliff wants to be in session for this one, but uh, it's very reminiscent of uh, last night in that amazing false count anywhere match. I'm sure Dan Under hasn't done his homework. Well, maybe that's why Mr. Cliff has been targeting him. Or maybe it's just two hungry Riot City Wrestling superstars looking for an opportunity, looking for a big time victory. Well, like you said, it all stems back to that uh, to that rumble when uh, Mr. Cliff showed no respect to Savannah Summers and Down Under wasn't putting up with that Not one at all. little bit. Not at all. And you've got to wonder with this kind of match type, does it, does it benefit Mr. Cliff or maybe it benefits the brawling style of Down Under? Down Under. We've seen him in so many really hard fought, hardcore style matches. And wait a sec. That has got to be the biggest ruler. That, that, that's, I have. Not a, that's not a meter ruler. What? That's a 10 meter ruler. And you know, Paul Roberts, size it doesn't always matter, but in this instance, I think I it think does. I think it does. Uh, Mr. Cliff uh, wasn't ready for that one. Uh, down the, I'm just saying, that's not a ruler. This is a ruler. Snapping it upon the spine of Mr. Cliff. Now it's about a meter ruler now. Now, after splintering on the back of uh, Mr. Cliff, vice principal. And I heard his uh, performance review was up, uh, you know, at the school he teaches at. And they're going to be watching this one very closely, Paul. They're going to watch this and then want to see, if, see if he can become principal. I, I think he could. If he wins tonight, I think Mr. Cliff could become the principal. Let's find out. It's the cliffhanger. Interesting school. <laughs> Interesting recruitment practices. <laughs> Mr. Cliff from apoplectic. Only a one count off the cliffhanger. Mr. Cliff sucks, I heard someone say. I don't think that'll go down very well. But not untrue. Not untrue. This guy is, uh, ever since he's made his name here in Riot City Wrestling, just a foul-tempered guy 
Oh, he's got the, the value of the sports ball. Yeah, and I heard this was mailed over from uh, his friend, Mr. Thompson from Perth. Oh. Sending him some uh, PE supplies. Oh! oh. Hard to the you midsection. Could, you could hear the thud from the balls on that one. What is that? Netballs, tennis oh. balls, basketballs, yeah. you name it. They're all in there. Oh, ducks, oh. ducks the balls. Oh, oh. wow. Big time anti-air by Mr. Cliff. He's iron off that principal ship. Oh, he hooks the leg on down under. Wow. Just the two. Tries down under, kicked out of that. The wind has to be taken out of his diaphragm. And it's hot in here. He's got to be gasping for Apple. Especially wearing that sweater vest. All right, what's in this one now? What do we got? Oh, maybe some lunch. Some lunch? Maybe, maybe mum packed him some lunch. No, nope, just attention slips. Maybe he'll oh. give uh, down under a paper cut. Oh no, a staple! Oh. Surely he's not gonna... No. Mr. Cliff has raided the supply closet. I wonder if uh, he's had permission to take all these... Yeah, I was, I was gonna say. All these classroom supplies. You know, it's not quite the end of financial year. You can't write it all off yet. Down under. Oh, down under now. As the detention slips, has the staple gun. Oh god, what, what would down under do with this? <laughs> Mr. No, Cliff. No, no, oh. oh, the hands! Staples right in the hand of oh, Mr. Cliff. And it's stuck there. The vice <laughs> principal not happy. Oh! Oh. Mr. Cliff is just becoming a uh, paginated report here. Look at all these staples. Oh no, oh. no! The skull! Yuck! Mr. Cliff in a world of hurt uh. right now, Paul. Well, I guess detention has been served on Mr. Cliff. Detention, pain. Now the times table. Oh! oh. Down under, right into that times table. How well do you know your times tables, Paul? Um, probably not quite as good as down under at the moment. Oh yeah, he's uh, <laughs> <laughs> just had a knowledge blast. Now the cover by Mr. Cliff for the win. Oh, just the two. Oh, not enough for uh, Mr. Cliff. How can Mr. Cliff even go for the cover? With those hands, I know, right? He's got, he's got staples in his hands. Like a stigmata. Has he got the one off of his head yet? No, no it's still on there. It's still there. <laughs> I think he's got the, has he got the staple remover? Yeah, the staple remover. He's trying to withdraw it from his skull. I oh, know, he's an apple. That's an apple. Apple for the teacher. Get some, uh, some energy, maybe? Some energy from Mr. Cliff. Oh no, Spine Buster! Oh, the apple oh, goes flying! Oh. Pulp and apple bits go flying. And down under, I think, some, I think some got in his eyeball. Oh, imagine the, the, the apple juice would be real acidy yeah, at, yeah. at the moment, especially in this heat. It would be bad enough for the sweat, the sweat running down yeah. in your face, in your eyes. Imagine the, the, the apples getting squirted all in your face. Yeah, not pleasant at all, and uh, down under pain, the consequences there. All right, Mr. Cliff, going back to his uh, bag of tricks, he's got a pen. I think it's bigger than 2B. That is a massive pen. He, he had the apple, he has the pen. <laughs> The pen is mightier than the sword right now, Paul. Mr. Chief had the apple pen. Alright, oh, I see what you're doing. <laughs> and now the pencil case. Oh no, what is this? Just a bunch of textures and down under! What? Is that a bunch of screws? Uh, hard to tell from our vantage point. We've got the table propped in the corner. I, I always thought down under had some screws loose. This is a precarious situation. Wait, that's a that's a sharpener, a pencil sharpener. Oh no! On the finger of down under. Is he trying to sharpen the end of his finger? Yeah, that'll take some skin off. Oh, Mr. Cliff, gonna send uh, down under. No, down oh. under. Reverses Mr. Cliff into the textures. Imagine all those textures sticking in your back. Oh wow! Just the two. This, uh, this canvas is starting to get flooded up. Yeah, and we've got stuff everywhere. All kinds of stuff, yeah. We've got to still get cleaned up for our main event. Yeah, exactly. 
don't know if there'll be a ring left for the main event. These two guys are just having their way with it. Mr. Cliff still rolling around, got that detention slip still stuck to his head, trying to get the... Oh, that, I think that um, one in his hand is well and truly stuck. Yeah, he might have to go to the law, the emergency department after this. Mr. At least we're close. Yeah, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Cliff introducing another whiteboard into the equation. And the periodic table still standing there. Mr. Cliff is precariously close to the periodic table. We won't even have to put him in an Uber. No, no. <laughs> Fall there, maybe. Oh, whoa. Oh. Was caught a face full of uh, whiteboard. Oh, oh no. but down under did. The whiteboard now. Oh, breaking the whiteboard across the head of down under. Who would have thought a schoolyard brawl would be this dangerous? It is messy. Oh, oh. wow. Mr. Cliff nearly pulling off the victory. Long two count there. Unbelievable stuff here from down under and Mr. Cliff. The schoolyard brawl. Yeah, the schoolyard brawl is continuing here. Yeah, there's stuff everywhere. And Mr. Cliff is going again into his bag of tricks. Is that the a lunchbox? See, I told you, unpack the lunch. For lunch. I bet you there's like an ice block in there. Something really heavy, yes! Oh, you gotta have one of those freezy blocks in there, keep your sandwich free. Yeah, exactly. Especially on a hot day like oh, today. Oh, now he's hungry. What's he got in there now? Can I have a bit of a, a, bit of a snack? Oh, there's a brick! It was a brick, Paul Roberts! An actual brick! My God. That's not very healthy. No, that won't keep your lunch cool. No. Just the theatrics of this if you hit him with a, a brick inside the lunchbox. Oh, just adding insult to injury now. Mr. Cliff, no! Down under kicks out. Well, Mr. Mr. Cliff's got a couple of uh, close pins just recently on Down Under. Yeah, he's got to get back in focus here. Down Under's right where he wants him. Just in a pile in the middle of the floor now. Mr. Cliff's attention turns to that periodic table. It's got all the elements on it. Helium. Neon. Einsteinium? Maybe there'll be Mr. Cliffium after this match. Well, we could get the texture and add it in. <laughs> What's he setting him up for here? It looks like he's looking for a particular ruler. A ruler with down under his name on it, maybe. Oh, what is this doing? Why is he climbing up to the top? Down under trying to get to his feet oh hard shot and mr cliff's got to be careful he, he set that table up will it come back to haunt him oh, down under oh no oh oh wow splitting the ruler across the header down under but wait that is woken up down under that is lit a fire in the outback legend down under Will he hit it? From the second row. Oh, wow. Puts him through the table, into the cover. Through the One, table. two, three. three. The school bell rings. Down under is victorious. Wow. Well, that's what I call a valedictorian effort by down under. Well, has, has down under finally put an end to Mr. Cliff and his antics. After that one, Mr. Cliff has uh, seen stars. Oh, absolutely, Mr. Cliff. Uh, I mean, we're gonna have to definitely get Mr. Cliff checked <laughs> out. Uh, that, that hand, the staple in the hand, my God. But down under... I don't know if he's still got the staple in his head, but... Uh, down under, setting things right for Savannah Summers, setting things right for himself. Uh, I think he's, he's just in front of us here. I think he's still got the staple in his hand. Poor Mr. Cliff. Has he, has he got the one in his head? Poor Mr. Cliff. No. He's, he's trail, gone. Trailing behind us, but... Wow. Well, what a schoolyard ball. What a fringe mania season we are having. We are having the most unbelievable fringe mania. I mean, if, folks, if you've got a few hours up your sleep, watch the whole four shows. Watch them. They're on the YouTube one after, channel. One after the other. They're on the RCW Vault if you want to catch all of our older shows. Yes. Uh, we're having a great time. The energy is still high. We're, this is our fourth event in a row. We've got one 
match to go. Four events, three weeks to one true main event for Roberts. The biggest main event we're going to see over this fringe mania, of course, Delta, the reigning, the first ever grand yeah. champion. And, and she's uh, defended that title in EPW, and she's defended that title here against Matt Grimbasso. But she's got, I would say, the, the challenge, the toughest challenge to date for Roberts. It's Chris well, Basso, the engineer. The engineer of the old guard is going to take on Delta here in our main event. We've, of course, got to get all of this uh, mess cleaned up from our schoolyard. Bro, oh, no, they're uh, done. Our, We're done. Our, our fabulous ring crew, record time. Let's go back to Andy Anderson. Let's get it underway. Delta, after the beating that my brother has just given you, I want you to go home. I want you to rest. I want you to relax and recover from the 17 at Super Clash. It's you and me, and we're adding a fourth one to let you. She is the face of Riot City Wrestling. She is domination. She is destruction. She is the RCW Grand Champion. She is Delta. It will be Delta and Chris Basso at Super Clash. Second time in its history, the RCW Grand Championship will be defended here in Riot City Wrestling. And uh, this guy, the challenger, well, what a story we've had for him to get to this position for us. Oh, absolutely. One of the cornerstones of Riot City Wrestling. Yeah, but he did not win the Riot City Rumble. He conned Nick Armstrong into putting his title shot on the line. He defeated Nick Armstrong, and now he's gained the opportunity to challenge Delta here. Well, as we said, it should be Nick Armstrong standing there right now. This should be his opportunity after winning the uh, the Rumble to be able to have a shot at Delta. But Chris Basso screwed him out of that opportunity in, in an earlier show. And, and what I keep saying about Chris Basso is, yes, he found Riot City Wrestling. Yes, he is one of the cornerstones here, but that does not entitle him to jump the queue, Paul Roberts. That does not entitle him to opportunities that other people earn fair and square. Well, you ask him, he'll tell you that he's earned it. We know that he screwed Nick Armstrong over. Yeah, the old guys have a great way of getting people to do exactly what they want them to. But I think Delta, I think Delta will be the roadblock for the old guard. Weren't me. expecting. And it's time. We all know where I've sat on the Delta bandwagon from day one. Yeah, Paul Roberts, it is the premier athlete in Australian wrestling today. She is on top of the mountain. I'm talking New South Wales, Victoria, Western Australia, Tasmania. Delta reigns supreme and she is our grand champion. She is the measuring stick to what all of Australian wrestling is compared to. When you think of who's on top, you think Delta. When you think who's next in line, you think Delta. Well, I, I don't know what it was, uh, Angus, but I, I always knew there was something special with Delta uh, from the first time I seen her here at Riot City Wrestling. Right until now, she is high in the crowd, the 400 plus here at the Peacock Tent. 
It is Super Clash. It is Fringe Mania. This is a true Super Clash. Chris Basso and Delta. You feel these two have been on a uh, collision course for quite a while now. It's a shame that Nick Armstrong had to lose his opportunity for us yeah. to get this match, but this is still going to be quite the encounter if, and I repeat, if the old guard can stay out of this one. Well, so far, it has only been Chris Basso making his way out here. Yeah, I don't see Ben Rosenthal anywhere. I don't see uh, Cutthroat or Dean Brady anywhere, but let's hope it stays that way. That's exactly right. Let's hope it stays that way. Well, let's head over to Andy for the formals for this big main event. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. explodes off the peacock tent right here for Delta it has come down to this yeah all of fringe mania four events over three weeks has come down to this one huge main event match the Riot City Wrestling Grand Championship a title that was created because Delta unified the RCW Championship with the RCW Women's Championship, a new title created, and here we go. Officially on the way. Delta, Chris Basso, the main event of Super Clash 6, the main event of Fringe Mania 2024. Here we go. Oh, sends her to the outside. Yeah, Chris Basso is sending Delta to the outside early on. What's the engineer got in mind? Hold on, Delta Lariat! Oh, oh. And Chris Basso coming down hard on his shoulder there. Look at the powerhouse. Delta. And I don't think Chris Basso was even expecting that. Yeah, Chris Basso on Dream Street right now. Wow. And now he's stolen, taking some time on the outside to regroup, perhaps. Taking a sip of water. And you know, Paul, the energy is high. Delta must have adrenaline pumping through her veins right now. And Chris Basso stole, you know what this that, does? Oh, it's built that lactic acid. It makes Delta sort of seize up and cool down. She wants to stay hot if she's going to be successful at this one. Oh, absolutely. Chris Basso playing the mind games with Delta right now. He's the one still on the outside moving around, keeping his body moving, while Delta standing there waiting for him to get back in the ring. No, it's a big part of it. When you're on the other side of the curtain waiting to come out, you're, oh, at, you're anxious, your energy's at a fever Your pitch. adrenaline starts pumping like nothing else. Now a test of strength here. And you know what? I reckon in a test of strength, I reckon Delta might have this oh, passive. Absolutely. She is a jacked Godzilla. Chris Basso not playing fair. I just stop in the toes of Delta. Do we expect anything else out of the engineer? <laughs> 
been a year of this guy. We've witnessed the engineer do anything and everything it takes to uh, succeed. Well, he's been around a long, long time. He's seen it all. He's seen it all. He's done it all. He's seen Deltas come and go. But I don't think he's seen anyone quite like Delta. Delta taking it to the engineer right now. Oh. Big back body drop. And you've got to wonder if Chris Basso has a little bit of hold on cover now. Two. Does Chris Basso have a little bit of resentment towards Delta for being the first grand championship? She effectively retired the RCW title, a championship that Chris Basso held on four separate occasions for. Would have helped create. He helped create the title, you're correct. I wonder how he feels seeing maybe what he considers his life work uh, be retired in favor for the grand championship for Delta's title. Yeah, absolutely. These are some interesting things to ponder as Delta lights up the chest of Chris Bassett. Does she have one more in the mind? Yes, she does. Taking him all around the world, corner to corner. Post to pillar, pillar to post. Oh! oh. Chris Bassett flinched on that one. And uh, he paid for it. And look at this, Delta rolls through on the suplex. Hangs on to him. And look at the delay on this. Letting all the blood rush to the head of Chris Basso. Yeah, all 106 kilograms, and they come crashing down of the engineer. Two and no. Just the two count. And now Delta has an opportunity just to regroup for a moment. Obviously running through the mind what she needs to do next. What does she have to do to beat? The engineer, Chris Basso. Yeah, she's going to do as much as she can, as early on as she can, because Chris Basso has that experience edge. Delta is just untapped war power. But the longer this goes on, the more Chris Basso can scout her. Obviously, a first time uh, singles encounter for these two. Oh. Powerbomb on the outside, perhaps? No. Powerbomb on. Oh, on the apron. The apron. Well, the only other time these two have squared off is when the, the uh, tag titles the Tag were titles, class. yeah, I was going to say it would have been Brady yeah. LTD. Yeah, Brady LTD, World Class Egos, Riot C Rumble 2022. And uh, what a different path these two have taken since that match for us. Absolutely, we're in a whole different ballpark right now. We've, we see the old guard, we've seen the engineer uh, be born. Of course, Delta has become the biggest star in Riot City Wrestling. Hey, the biggest star in Australian wrestling. <laughs> Absolutely. You name it, they are promoting her. Chris Basso now is taking control after that power bomb on the apron. Now sending Delta. Oh. oh she blocks it. Oh. And sends uh, the engineer in there himself. Yeah, it's a face full of uh, turnbuckle pad. And this is the unique thing about Delta. She always has a way of coming back. But let's see how she can bounce back after this because she just ate that turnbuckle pad. Ah, oh, Delta's... Oh, oh, mass driver by Chris Basso. Delta's strength is just untapped. Hold on, the mass driver now to put Delta away. No, just the two. Yeah, Delta... Oh, she probably deadlifts more than anyone in Riot City Wrestling. Bench presses more than anyone. She is just a genetic freak. But that's only going to get you so far because Chris Basso, yeah, he's got 20 plus years of experience, of experience behind his belt. In his squared circle. And that might be the only thing that uh, plays the advantage to the engineer. This whole scenario is very reminiscent of when uh, Matt Chris Basso was champion back in back in the day. And he was a, he was an unstoppable monster. And like Delta, but Chris Basso, he was able to do it. He was able to beat his brother. Let's see if he can do a similar thing here to Delta. So camel clutch now by the engineer. Oh, you can see Delta using everything she can to try and get to those ropes. Can she uh, break the hole? And yeah, this is a unique hole because as Delta tries to get towards the rope, you can see her, her back bends out, putting more pressure on it. And Chris Bass is getting that chicken wing in. Delta smartly rolling through there. Chris Basso. Now watch out for the... Oh no, I thought she was going for a German suplex. O'Connor roll. No. 
Oh, here we go. She's got him up on the shoulders. Could be using an F5, but Chris Bassler slides down the back door. Oh, backbreaker by Chris Bassler. Oh, just hanging on, just. And that is super effective after what he just did there. And now thinking maybe neck breaker, yes. Chris Bassler now targets the spine of Delta. Just starting to uh, pick those moves, starting to pick apart Delta. And we know Chris Bassler, he likes Made in Japan. He likes that Sega Mega Driver. Both moves to target with the neck and the back. Very wise. Engineer targeting Delta Spine. Excellent gameplay. Oh, here we go. He wants to head up top, do some more damage yeah, maybe Delta to Delta, but. Not quite incapacitated enough, though. No. Oh. Good old Seabass could be singing a bit higher in the shower tonight. <laughs> Delta coming up behind him. What is she thinking? Oh no, no, no. This is very dangerous for Chris Basso. Delta's trying to hook him up for a back suplex off the top, perhaps, but no, Chris Basso. Strong enough to avoid that one. Oh, look here. Oh wait, Delta! I don't think he was. Oh! oh! Sending Chris Basso tumbling! I don't think Basso was expecting it. Yeah, German suplex, but Chris Basso over-rotated and landed on his face! Maybe Chris was trying to land on his feet there, but didn't quite get enough. Both competitors down on the map. Who can who can dig down deep? Who can uh, get? Who's got the will the most? Who can get to their feet? Yeah, this one is wearing on now, Paul. The heat is building, both metaphorically and literally. Fans here solidly behind Delta. You can't blame them. Uh, Delta firmly in control, but Chris Basso firing back. Delta now with one of her own. Just a strike exchange here, Paul Roberts. Oh, the crowd getting right behind it. Now Delta unloading with a few. What a flurry of offense now. Delta, what's she thinking off the oh. ropes? It's caught by Chris Basso. He followed her straight in on that one. Oh. But Bel Delta's done the same and caught Chris Basso. Oh, European uppercut by Chris Basso, the engineer. What's he engineering now? Hold on. Delta counters. German oh. suplex. Takes him over beautifully. Delta and again. She likes a couple of these. Wouldn't be surprised if she went One for more. The, the trio of German suplexes, Paul. Let's see. Oh, she's calling for it. One no, more. No, no, Chris Basso knew what was happening. No, she says, round you go. Uh-oh, Chris Basso gets caught. No, Chris blocks. Chris trying to oh. elbow to break that grip of Delta. Oh, hard head in the shoulder. Oh, look at the strength. Here we go. Oh, classic Delta. Sit out. Spinning side slam. Holds the legs too. Wow, no. That was a wow. favored move of Delta from a few years ago. She's bringing out all the classics for him. You can see uh, Chris Basso just shaking his head after that one. He can't believe it. Yeah, this is about as high stakes as you'll see here for the Grand Championship. It's on the line. Chris. Yeah, well, they'd be hoping that Chris Basso gets hold of this belt so that the old guard have all got a title again. Yeah, the Emerald Crown fell to Vincent Di Maria last night. Will we see the RCW Grand Championship change hands? Oh. Well, let's hope not. Of course, in previous years, the RCW Championship changed hands a couple times at Fringe Mania. Oh, oh wow. Spinning set out like a bomb, but no. Chris Basso is so close. He's becoming a big five-time heavyweight champion here at Riot City Wrestling. Well, that, that's got to be getting up there as the, the most title reigns. Yeah, if Chris Basso wins this one tonight, he'll be a five-time heavyweight champion here in RCW. The most of anyone. If you count Riot City Wrestling Championships and the Grand Championship. Of course, he'd be only the second ever Grand Champion. A title, as I said, created because of Delta yeah. unifying the RCW title with the women's title. And Chris Basso, you can see his expression is changing to one of wow. frustration, perhaps. 
Delta is just screaming at Chris Basso. Yeah, high coming Gary there from Chris Basso. Side of the head kick. Can Delta come back? Oh no! No, no, no! no. Oh. Made in Japan! Chris Basso gets made in that Japan! The cover! Two. No! How did Delta kick out? Oh. oh, no, 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 no! No! The this, old guard are here. this is not right. But wait, are they just cheering on Chris Basso? Hold on a second. I, I'm sure they're just going to stay and cheer on. Yeah, well, they're not entering the ring yet, so I mean. Yes. And, and Michael Kent has still got this one under control. Let's just let, let's let this play out, Paul Roberts. This Delta sends Chris off the ropes. To the outside, yes! And she is destruction, she is defiance, she does the turn oh. suicida! And the old guy... Now what are they gonna do? They can't do anything but just watch on here. It doesn't look... Are they... They don't want to risk a disqualification for Chris Basso. That would end this one. And look, this is uh... Oh, look, they're gonna stand back. Brother and sister here. Dean and Delta, formerly Brady LTD. Oh. Delta ducked out the way. Dean got nailed with oh. that one. Oh, now Cutthroat pops one from Delta. Yeah, Cutthroat gets one too. Chris Basso breaks the count, gets back in the ring. Yeah, well, obviously, he doesn't want to take a count out on this match. Yeah, but just look at this. Look at this interaction between Delta and Dean Brady. And look, causing distraction. The old guard collide. Meanwhile. Oh, no, look out. Sega Mega Driver. No. Oh, can she hit the F5? She gets the F5, Paul Roberts. It's all over to retain her grand Dude. championship, no! Oh, come on. And Dean Brady, what else did you expect? This is... This is what happens when you give them the benefit of the doubt. Cutthroat now has got the belt in his hands. I'm not sure what he's like. Thoughts. Bloody hell, when you give yeah. them the benefit of the doubt, they will always disappoint you, the old guard. The referee is barely moving after uh, Dean Brady dropped that elbow on him. Now you can see Delta reprimanding her brother. Yeah, watch out, Delta! No! Oh, Cutthroat with the belt from behind. How many times tonight are these guys going to do this? Oh, they'll do it as many times as they like, Angus. It is the old guard. Yeah, they already did it in their tag match earlier, causing that DQ. And now, yet again, and Chris Basso, they handed him the title. He is not the grand well, champion. We, we need the other referee. We, we need someone. You can't do this. You're not the grand champion, Chris Basso. That's the old guard theme. Who's this? Who is this? Is that Ben Rosenthal? I don't know. Wait, that's... Yeah, that's Matt Hayter! That's the EPW Coastal Champion! What's he doing out here? Former tag Matt, team Matt, partner. Matt, Matt, yeah, that shirt. That's, that's the old guard shirt he's wearing. No, 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 oh, no. Oh, no. Surely not! What are we uh, seeing, Paul Roberts? We're not seeing the world-class egos reform. Matt Hayter. This cannot be happening. Matt Hayter, has he joined the old guard? Our oh, Delta is destroyed. She is distraught. Her brother first, now Matt Hayter. You know what they say, Paul, if you can't beat him and join him. And I think Matt Hayter, I think he's just taken the easy way out. What, world, what world a class egos one more time. They're running the back. What a what a disappointing outcome here. But this time Delta just she's she's screaming she's, at Matt Hayter. She's crying, look at her. There is emotion in the face of Delta like I've never seen before. Wait a sec. Super oh, kick! Super kick! Matt Hayden's just hit the super kick on Chris Basso! It was all a ruse, Paul Roberts. He never joined the old guard. And now he's eliminating, eliminating Dean Brady and Cutthroat. Tope Times! To the outside, Matt Hayden taking out the old guard. He bested them at their own game, Paul Roberts. Matt Hayter has bested the old guard. 
And now he's doing his darndest to get them out oh. of here. Matt Hayter taking care of Cutthroat and Dean Brady. Delta oh. now to her feet. Let me just breathe for a sec. I seriously thought Matt Hayter <laughs> had joined the old guard for a second. I thought hell had frozen over. Surely not. Delta's not going to hit him, no. No, no. She'll do this the right way, Paul. Absolutely. She'll get him up. She'll do this the right way. Here goes. No. Oh. No. Sega Mega Driver. No. Wait a second. Not a second one. After all that. No. After all oh, that. Oh, no. The two Sega no. Mega Drivers. No. Oh. Delta. The kick of one! She kicked out a one! The adrenaline is pumping through Delta! She is still fighting, Paul Roberts! She's still the champion! Delta has not give up! Oh no, not another made in Japan, perhaps! No! No! The roll through! Rolls him up! Two! Two. No! Oh. Wow, the pump kick! Right to the chin! Oh, forearm from... Oh, just nailed Delta. Man, the amount of twists and turns in this one. And Chris Bass has got one more, he, one more surprise up his sleeve. He's heading to the top. Can he do it? Chris Basso setting up. No! Misses that moonsault press. Delta the spear! Can she hit him now in the F5? Delta gets him up. Five minutes carry. F5! She gets the F5, Paul Roberts. The this cover. This to be it. For Two, the win. three. She has done it. Delta victorious. Four hundred fans on their feet, Paul Roberts. Delta, still your grand champion here. Closes out Fringe Mania, closes out Super Clash 6 Paul Roberts. Oh, absolutely. What a fringe season. What a fringe mania has been, Angus. I can't believe what we've seen here. I thought I thought Matt Hayden had joined the old oh, guy. Unbelievable, but oh, we wow. still have a grand champion in Delta. What a fringe season. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming along for the ride, for joining us on the YouTube. Please. Come along to Riot City Wrestling. Enjoy it all. Thank you for joining us. We will see you all next time. Yeah, well, stay tuned for, for updates on social media. Our next events should be announced very shortly. Until then, farewell for now, but not forever.